A week into Pride Month and the city of Tempe is telling us one of their pride flags was removed and burned in an act of hate. Team Jobs Chase Go Lightly is live from where it happened. And Chase, this comes months after the owners of an LGBTQ plus coffee shop had a bomb threat made against them, right? Mark Rebe, that's exactly right. In this case, it happened just recently, but those flags have already been replaced, as you can see right behind me, just outside of Tempe City Hall. The pride flag is brand new, and also city leaders uh, repaired the flagpole it was attached to in this situation. In the heart of Tempe, pride flags can be seen waving all over, but for the one right in front of City Hall, Officials say someone took it down and burned it. Anyone that does that is pretty much hateful. I think we should respect everyone and every flag that's up there. It's very sad that somebody would actually go out of their way to do something like that. Tempe leaders saying what happened here does not represent their city and they will not stand for any bullying or threats made toward the LGBTQ plus community. This is an attempt to send a hateful message. Jeremy Helfgott with Phoenix Pride says this is the latest act of aggression here in Tempe. We we had another incident in Tempe. He's talking about a situation that unfolded back in February at Brick Road Coffee just a few miles away. <laughs> the LGBTQ plus owned shop was hosting their first drag story time event. About 20 minutes in, they received a bomb threat, forcing everyone inside to evacuate. That was that was an unfortunate incident of, of hate. Co-founder Gabe Hagen says they've received threats before, but nothing like this. It's just misguided, unfortunately, and that's it's disappointing to see. We're told the FBI is now investigating the threat. Despite the scary situation, Hagen stood firm, not letting the hate stop them. There is a way to overcome, and it's just through continuing to spread that joy and kindness. That resilience leading to national support. It's been a catalyst, honestly, for us to continue to do more for the community and, and really stand as a beacon of support. That no matter what terrible acts occur, moving forward is the only path. It's a reminder of why we have Pride Month in the first place. Now, in this case, the Tempe Police Department is now investigating this situation. They're asking anyone who may have information on a suspect or suspects involved in the situation to give them a call. For now, we're live in Tempe. Chase Colightly, 12 News. Chase, thanks.